floating on the Amazon River is a wonder of the animal world. It may look like a tangle of weeds, but up close it's a seething mass of ants. This is Solenopsis invicta, the fire ant. To survive the regular floods of the Amazon, an entire ant colony can join together as one large raft, built from their own bodies. They can survive like this for months, waiting for dry land. So, how do the fire ants do it? I've come to Georgia Institute of Technology in America to meet a scientist who's trying to discover the secrets of the fire ant raft. It's my first chance to see these extraordinary boat builders up close. One of the big questions people ask is, you know, what happens to the ants on the bottom? Do they drown? And the answer is no. They essentially remain dry. Even those ants that break through the surface tension of the water and are fully submerged trap a layer of air around their body so they can still breathe. So there's, a, there's an obvious thing for us to do now, which is to try and submerge them and see what happens. Can, can you push these down? When you push it under the water, they retain a pocket of air um, kind of around their bodies. It's almost encapsulating them inside an air pocket. And I can show you that here. They're very buoyant. They are. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so there's a silvery sheen over the outside, which is all the air bubbles that yeah, have been trapped. That's the, the air-water uh, interface line there. Each ant is naturally water repellent. Droplets simply slide off them. And when thousands of ants combine, the result is a raft that is virtually unsinkable. When you do push them under the water, they pull themselves even tighter together so that when they're subjected to the high pressures underneath the water, it still keeps the water out. Magnified hundreds of times, the secrets of the fire ant raft are revealed. The mandibles are used to grab hold of a nestmate's leg. At the end of each leg, is an adhesive pad and a claw. This, like a sticky grappling hook, allows them to form further flexible connections with any nearby nestmate. The ant's own bodies act as a set of interlocking units, so the entire colony can turn itself into a single structure. So this is really an unsinkable, self-healing lifeboat? It is. It's, it's a force to be reckoned with, that's for sure. This remarkable ability allows the fire ants to survive the worst floods of the Amazon. Corporation has made them an engineering marvel of the natural world, and one of the most successful ant species on the planet.